Hello, hello, happy Travel Tip Tuesday, everybody. I am coming to you about um, a little bit at a different hour, about 30 minutes to, um, after what's normal. So I just wanna say thank you. I am uh, uh, have another class with my master's certification in health and wellness. So uh, I'm needing to change the time and I wanna hear back your feedback. What do you think? Do you like one o'clock versus 1230 Central Standard Time here in the United States of America? Um, but I want to say again, happy Travel Tip Tuesday. Happy February. I am super excited to be here in the North Texas area. We have about 70 degree weather today. Um, coming in on Thursday, there are some winter storms, uh, but I am committed to coming to you every week. For this next month as a trial, I'm going to come around 1 o'clock, 1.15, just to get your uh, feedback on that for about 7 to 10 minutes um, to share travel tips, answer questions, and just be here for you, however it is that you might need. Um, I am super honored to give you the series this month that we are going to talk about, and it is the top safe travel trends for 2022. We are celebrating the AMD Low Vision Awareness Month. It is American Heart Month, Tinnitus Awareness, National Children's Dental Health Month, shout out to Dr. Ali Taha, National Eating Disorders Awareness Month, Raynaud's and Scleroderma Awareness Month. And something that's really important to me, part of the muscular dystrophy family is Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy uh, Awareness. Shout out to you, Scott. I'm gonna tag you in this. And this week's um, tips that I've got for you today are the top winter storm travel safety tips for you. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Michelle Maynard MacArthur, and I am your hospitality health and wellness strategist that is here to help guide you through a positive process for change with a lean, holistic healing approach from the inside out. And that lean stands for lifestyle, exercise, attitude, and nutrition. I'm devoted to helping you executives improve your own health and well being while finding that perfect mind, body, and soul balance between your own self care, your family, your work, and your play. And I can't tell you um, that right now, first and foremost, I am going through that and it is hard balancing out, um, learning new. Uh, new task of caregiving for loved ones while balancing that out. So it is very important to me as I share with you my why, my why of being a survivor, a survivor of a progressive degenerative neuromuscular disorder, along with depression for over 30 years now, I get to stand here today. I get to be here with my voice, my voice, my vocal cords, and just share these tips. You may notice some swaying, some uncomfortable pauses, too many ums, whatever that might be, just know that I do always get back on track. A little bit more about me is that I am a believer, a mother, an entrepreneur, an advocate. I'm also an educator, a speaker, and of course, a world-class traveler. The tips that I'm bringing to you today are brought to you by MacArthur Accommodations. And we are a hospitality, health and wellness coaching and consulting advisement company that specializes in overall optimal health and wellness worldwide with those innovations to reflect, recharge, and renew yourself one step at a time. I am an international certified health and wellness coach that complements a certification I have in traditional Chinese medicine, along with a 30 plus year career in hospitality, tourism, luxury hotels, middle class hotels, site selections, group planning. I am just honored it's in my DNA of hospitality, which is why I love sharing these travel tips. 
my question to you as we are going to talk about the safety points in traveling is what's your main uh, safety point and uh, travel trend when uh, you're looking at this new year of 2022? And what are you doing to prepare for safety tips with the winter storms coming? Let me know that. Drop it in the chat box. The uh, tip number one I have for you today, my friends, is avoid unnecessary travel during winter storms if necessary. Take a look. While it can change, we're expecting um, some major winter storms on Thursday. It may. It may not happen. It's so interesting to see, but it is important to be prepared. So avoid unnecessary travel. And what you want to do is you want to keep your cell phone charged, portable chargers, have extra batteries because you never know. You were in the North Texas area last year. Uh, we got hit pretty hard. So be prepared to be safe have items in a bag, a backpack, some kind of a carry-on bag to, um, to be able to stay warm. Those warmers, your gloves, your hats, coats, mittens, blankets, different things that are going to help you with staying warm. For your autos, your um, automobiles, or even motorcycles, you want to make sure that you have the trunk or a bag that is supplied with a toolkit. And in that toolkit, you want to make sure that you have a first aid kit, non-perishable foods, water, flashlight, batteries, a shovel, if you're, especially if you're up north, with an ice scraper, de-icer, brush, Rock salt or cat litter is always good. Uh, you want to make sure you've got cables. And for some, you may even have to carry some of those uh, tow chains um, that uh, when you're in the mountains. Tip number two for you is the precautions when traveling. You want to use your best judgment to determine if driving, flying by train or bus is prudent. Do you have to go or is it uh, something that you can uh, uh, be safe and super cautious? Get the latest weather forecast before leaving. If you are traveling out on Thursday, just be watching that and make determinations. Have alternative plans in place. Check for cancellations. Prepare for alternate routes. And have your emergency backup plan with those um, other options in place, like I mentioned. Tip number three for you today is traveling safe on the roads. Observe snow accumulation on the roads, snowfall rate, wind, visibility. Make sure that you are, make sure that you are also looking at ice. In the North Texas area, we have ice, black ice. It's really important that you are aware of that. Always clean your windows, mirrors, make sure that they are fully visible and free of uh, any debris before driving, especially when you're expecting that, or even heavy rain, sleet, hail, those are all important. Use your headlights at all times to increase your visibility. When the windshield wipers are on due to um, weather going on, make sure that you have your headlights on also in the car and keep a full tank of gas. That is so important right now. It, I, I say when you get um, right there at that half, uh, half a tank mark or, or start to go below, always make sure that you've got um, some gas in your car because you never know what's gonna be happening. Ensure all of your fluid levels are, um, they're sufficient. Windshield washer fluid, antifreeze, brake fluid, all of these different things and have spare tire. If you remember last year, um, I had good tires and the spares, but um, you wanna make sure that you have that spare tire with a jack, wheel wrench, and you know your alternate uh, emergency um, roadside assistance places to call if you need. Tip number four for you today are the safety precautions when, when driving in your motor vehicle. You want to make sure that you are driving prudently. When the conditions are adverse, decrease your speed. Brake early. Remember the tapping part, not just to slam on your brakes, tapping. So if it is ice that you're not skidding through, don't use cruise control as it does 
decrease your reaction time and look out for the events farther skim the roads make sure that you are seeing what's all around you so you have time to react the fifth and final tip i have for you today my friends is respect emergency officials not interfering and if you get stranded if you're stranded without assistance and you're stuck you're in a snowbank you're in a ditch stay in your vehicle call 911 and don't get out of your vehicle unless it is an absolute emergency so that you can stay safe. Roll down your windows just a little few uh, bit of inches and turn um, or turn your vehicle off if you're stranded in deep snow. So that you can make sure that with your, um, your vehicle is running. Uh, the covered mufflers can cause serious physical injury or sometimes death because of the inhalation of carbon monoxide and if you're stranded on an interstate or a parkway or a highway know your location take a look look at the surroundings look at the tall buildings different mile markers um, make sure that you are being conscious of that if you need to write it down do so so that when you contact the emergency personnel that um, helps them to reach you as quick as possible. So these are my tips for you today. I did come in um, at, at the one o'clock hour versus the 12.30. So I do welcome uh, your feedback and your comments and uh, just show me some love. I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna put it back again in the comments for the YouTube channel to go and subscribe to this, but please, like, comment, uh, share this with anyone that you might see, and I'm going to wish you all off with a beautiful, prosperous, and most productive day. God bless you. Bye-bye.